As a citizen, Donald Trump said it was time to get out of Afghanistan. And he says as president, his first instinct was to leave. But he's now convinced more troops are needed to end America's longest war. We will not talk about numbers of troops or our plans for further military activities. Conditions on the ground, not arbitrary timetables, will guide our strategy. He wouldn't say, but reports are the U.S. will send 4,000 additional U.S. troops. Along with more troops from NATO countries, the president argued the commitment is necessary in order to keep armed groups from finding a base in Afghanistan again. This will bring the total number of U.S. troops to just over 12,000, a far cry from the 100,000 that Barack Obama sent in, in hopes of forcing the Taliban to negotiate. That didn't work, but military experts argue now this much smaller number still might. Well, I don't think that uh, the commanders on the ground nor the national security officials would have recommended it unless they felt that this had a chance to significantly change the situation on the ground. President Trump also had some tough words for Pakistan, who he says need to do more to get the Taliban to peace talks. We have been paying Pakistan billions and billions of dollars. At the same time, they are housing the very terrorists that we are fighting. But that will have to change. Candidate Trump promised America first. And to some, this might seem like he's going back on that pledge. But with such a small number of troops and really a war that is very rarely talked about in the American media, it is unlikely that he'll get much pushback from the people who made him President of the United States. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.